when it feels that good, you don't want to move an inch. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. I'm the author of a book called Slow Sex. <laughs> Wait, it gets better. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've heard of your stuff. The art and practice of the female orgasm. Hmm. And I run a company called One Taste. And our vision is that one day you'll hear yoga, meditation, and orgasm all in the same sentence without whispering the third. You look shocked talking about it in public and stuff just seems like I wish I had a cocktail. <laughs> and you? How comfortable are you talking about sex? I mean, I'm fairly comfortable. I guess it depends on where it goes. I'm not familiar yet with exactly what you do, so now my brain is open to learn something. The orgasmic meditation with Nicole Daydone was Orgasmic meditation is a 15 minute timed practice between two people where both people focus all of their attention on the point of connection between a finger and the clitoris. I tried to keep the most mature face I could, so I was like sitting there chewing my gum. Yeah, this is, this is normal. <laughs> How do you feel about seeing a demonstration? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Seeing it. What is Seeing it you? for you, not on you. Yeah. Yeah? Sure. So how we'll do it is I'll describe what's going to happen, and then I'll bring in two people to do the demonstration for you. So there are 10 primary spots on the clitoris, and each spot has a sensation associated with it. So for example, there's like the deep back part where you get this like kind of grinding, almost like earthy or sexual feel. There's the ridge of the clitoris where if you stroke it more quickly, um, it'll feel almost like reverence in her body. And he'll be able to stroke her body in a way that it's like a symphony of sensation. Naturally, you know, when you hear something like that, like, hey, there's this technique that can like provide like the ultimate bliss to a woman as a guy. And, you know, I'm like, well, hey, how's that work, you know? With his left finger, he'll stroke the upper left hand quadrant of her clitoris. When it comes to like defining orgasm, I'd probably just Google it and read whatever pops up. Um, I, I, I think it's cut and dry. The definition of orgasm is a, uh, is, a... So this is Rachel. Hi. This is Ken. Hey. Hi. I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, is Rachel really actually about to take her pants off? Is this really about to happen? And normally he'd do all of her pillows for her so that she doesn't have to focus on anything. A woman has what's called a center of vigilance, and if, we ha if our center of vigilance is up, we cannot go into orgasm. The involuntary state cannot open up. So he's almost like her sentinel, focusing on everything out here so she doesn't have to. Right now, he's just touching her legs, he's tuning in to her. And then I just want to check in with the two of you. How are you, f you feel good? I'm good. I'm trying to keep the most mature adult face on. Well, the whole time I'm thinking, ha, 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 your pants are off. Ha, 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 vagina. So you'll notice he doesn't go down on the clitoris immediately. He starts at her introitus. Her introitus is the area where were you to have intercourse, you would enter. You'll notice it's not like, like her hips aren't moving. Hips actually locking decreases sensation. And she's not screaming and flailing. Uh, when it feels that good, when it's on the spot in that way, 
you don't want to move an inch. I know it looks ludicrous and crazy, but it's just people. It's just a way for people to connect more deeply. There's nothing freaky about that. Although, you know, hey, I imagine it looked kind of weird. What he's doing is keeping her in the optimal state of heightened sensation, rather than having this goal that he's always driving toward. She may or may not go into climax, but that's not the point. The point is to feel that connection throughout and to get that kind of deep saturation and pleasure in her body. Oh. And then here he gives her grounding pressure. And here she can take a lot more than you expect. So he's giving her very, very, very firm pressure. Hey, it was informative. And I think I was sweating a lot by the end because I was like, Man, my mom is going to see this. We'll close up in the way we personally close up our ohms. So every single time after I have an ohm, I do this. And I, it's called giving a frame. And a frame is a sensory snapshot. So it's a single moment that you felt something in your own body. Um, I noticed the way that your like hand was just touching his leg. So your left hand would just like rub his shin in moments of like gratitude and I just felt like just trust like it felt for me safe and warm and like what everyone should feel mm. with a partner that's a beautiful frame beautiful mm. I actually saw the exact and felt the exact same thing so I noticed this and I noticed that and it was just really like just kind of caught me for a second talk about your journey in comfort and security to be able to do this in front of us in front of other people. When I was 25, I was told by a therapist I was anorgasmic, meaning like I couldn't climax. As a woman, if I have to go through my life not enjoying sex, what's the point? So in my first ohm, I felt this one moment of electricity, and I thought, oh, that's what it means to be a woman, to feel that open and that comfortable and that safe with another human being. And I remember sitting up and looking at my partner and saying to him, I don't know what that just was, but whatever that is, every single woman should know that she can feel that. It wasn't sexy or sexual. It was just like deep and meaningful. So to watch it was beautiful. I definitely got teary eyed a bit. This was like one of the most beautiful expressions of humanity I think I've ever seen, so thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I've definitely never experienced anything like this before, so thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you. I think as, as a guy, it registers, when she, you can hear her reacting to what he's doing, as a guy, then my ear goes, huh? It seems like orgasmic meditation is about connection, deeply connecting to your partner, and not about this end goal or this animal, physical, like animal energy. It's like, you know, an animal and they, you know, it's hearing something in the forest, they want to like, wait, what's that? I'm supposed to go after that. So that kind of was distracting. So then as Nicole was talking, I, I had to really focus to say, okay, you no, know, listen to what she's saying. Don't tune her out because, you know, and part of me was like, Nicole, be quiet. There's something happening right now. So, shh, stop it. Kundalini yoga, we say, is the yoga of awareness. Now pull your tongue in and do it through the nose. <laughs>